Wanna be part of the 1% and hit millions of views on your shorts and reels? This animation right here got 15 million views. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to create it using CapCut. Plus, I'll share a list of profitable niches, how to find endless video ideas, and 5 ways to make money from these videos. Believe me, you don't want to skip this last part. We start by preparing the assets for the video. So we head to Canva and create a design. I'm going to choose a mobile video, Instagram Reel, for example. And the first page, we're going to have it in black. That's just the background. We're going to add the next page. This time we need green screen and under element, we're going to look for the elements one by one. First, let's type football football net and we want one that is at an angle similar to the video we're going to make i found this one i'm gonna flip it horizontally now we're going to add another page and look for a football first one i'm going to leave leave it white we need white color then i'm going to duplicate this page this time the white will be pinkish color i'm gonna duplicate it one more time this time it will be red duplicate it one more time this time we're going to color it in green but it's tricky because background is green too so i'm gonna choose a different green from the background i have let's say this one but i want it a very light green this should do and then duplicate it one more time this time the green should be a darker green now i'm going to add a new page and we look for football trainers trainers or football shoes i'm gonna choose this one here let me make it bigger and i will choose the black instead of gray now we're gonna download them and we need them in png files and let's download the whole thing now we're going to head to CapCut and create a project so we're gonna import our files i'm gonna select all the items and open them here and let's start by dragging the black background go to ratio and select 916. now we'll add all the elements one by one and i'm gonna start by the elements that do not move so we're gonna go to text and then default text drag it on the top of the background extend it to the length of the background and write 93 percent we're gonna reduce the scale of the text and play Place it to the top here. Next, we're gonna copy and then paste this text and drag it somewhere in the middle. This time, we're going to write six percent of people. We copy and paste this one more time, drag it, and this time we're going to toward the bottom and write one percent of people. I don't want to accidentally drag the background while working. So I'm gonna lock them. I don't want to accidentally move them from their place. The next thing we're going to do is go to media and, and drag the football net. This time we're going to go to remove, click on chroma key and remove the green background. I'm gonna reduce the size of it and place it where the right is obviously repeated across the three animations so we're gonna duplicate it drag it where the second animation will take place and then duplicate it a third time and drag it toward the bottom now again this element is not going to move so we're gonna lock them now we're gonna drag the trainers and we're going to go to video remove bg and then chroma key we're going to remove the green background and resize it in the animation we're going to reproduce they have obviously two pairs of trainers so we're gonna copy paste it this trainers drag the second pair a bit down and position it slightly to the left now we're going to now i'm going to select both we're going to copy paste once place them on the top of the previous one and drag those on the top to the second animation we're going to do this one more time copy paste trainers and place them on the top this time we're going to drag them all the way to the last animation now we have most of our element all we need is the white ball next to the trainers and all of the three animations so we drag the ball we go to remove bg chroma key and remove the green background we're gonna resize it to fit it in the picture copy paste the ball and drag it down and we're going to repeat this one more time now we have all the elements ready all what we're going to animate are the right foot the right foot at the front the right foot this pair of trainers the right foot this pair of trainers first ball is not moving at all so we can lock it we don't need it all we have to animate are four elements this pair of trainers this pair of trainers this football and this football Let's move them all the way to the top so it's easier to work with. So we place the right foot next to the, the ball for the second animation, the right foot with the ball for the last animation. Now we need to get the original video we're going to make and add it to this timeline. Go to media, import, and then import the original video and place it under our element. Now you've noticed that the length of the video is much longer than what we have. We can adjust the length easily by selecting all the elements and dragging them to where the animation ends. We can do the same for the elements that we lock. Unlock them and adjust the length. We're going to adjust the length 
all the way here. Now we're going to start by the middle animation, which is the second. Well, first is not even animated, but you, you get what I mean, the one in the middle. Now I'm going to also hide the last one so we won't be confused by them. We're only going to show the right trainer and one football, that's all. We adjust the position of the trainer to match the position of the original video and the ball is a bit bigger. So I'm going to adjust the size of the ball too and it comes to 18% roughly. I'm going to again match it to the position of the original video. Start by the trainer. Now, if we move the cursor along the timeline and we go one frame ahead. You see the trainers or no, the original video goes back. Go to video basic and on the on transform we add a frame. What we're going to do is move the trainers back and we're going to rotate it to match where the original trainer is. We're going to rotate it to 20 degrees. That's the position we're going to leave it at. Now let's move one more frame by holding shift and right arrow. Now this position we're going to add a keyframe. What we're going to do is drag the trainers back and this time let's try 25% rotation that will do we're going to continue tracking the original video by clicking shift and the right arrow and then match the position on the original video frame by frame hide the original animation and see what we have so far that's not bad you see the animation is not very smooth so we're going to right click and show variable speed variation we're gonna smooth out these animations so the scale the scale doesn't change so we don't need the scale now on the x position we're going to auto curve on each position we're going to do the same for the y we're going to smooth out the rotation as well right click again and hide variables let's play it one more time and see it doesn't seem very natural i'm going to play with the distance of this keyframe let's put these three closer let's play it again and see how it goes the three frames need to be close together so the movement seems smoother the kick more natural although i would also try to put the last keyframe closer to the, the other one yeah, that's not bad forget about this trainers we can lock it and even hide it so it won't distract us when we start working with the ball. Now let's do the same, exact same thing for the ball. Um, first at the start we're going to add a keyframe here and place the ball where it should be. Now if we click shift arrow and add a keyframe as well, the ball doesn't move yet. Again shift arrow and the ball is still not moving yet. We still can add a, a frame but they don't make any difference because the ball is not moving yet. One more frame and you see the ball move from its position. Add the keyframe first and then drag the ball to the new position. Let's continue doing this. Now you notice that this time the ball becomes pink. What I'm going to do here is use split and delete right. We don't need the white ball anymore. At this point we have the pink ball. We need to remove the background, adjust its size, place it where it should be. I'm always referencing to the, the original animation. You shouldn't forget to go to basic and add a keyframe. You see the, the ball becomes red. Say so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to delete right and drag red ball. Move BG and click on chroma key and resize the ball we have. Now we're going to go back to basic and add a keyframe. Now if we move one more frame you see the ball move slightly. This is the last one. On this frame I'm going to select it and rotate the ball by 30 degrees and if we play back the video let's hide the original animation and let's probably show the trainers so we can see what we have made so far now that you know how to animate one kick, the process is exactly the same for each kick. I don't want to bore you with the same steps over and over, so here's a quick recap. Add the ball to the timeline, select it, and add a keyframe under transform. Position the ball where it should be, rotate it if needed, and adjust its path toward the net. Repeat the same process for the foot, making sure both elements align with each movement. It's all about repeating these frame-by-frame -frame adjustments while keeping the animation smooth and realistic. Here's the final result of the animation. I've included a link to the final CapCut project in the description for you. A family member noticed how much time this work took me and argued that AI can easily do it for me with a simple prompt. So, 
I decided to try it using Hilo AI. I wrote a detailed prompt and uploaded a PNG of all the elements and this is the result. I only tested this tool and can't say if other tools might do better, but I think this animation is a bit too complex for AI at this point. Or maybe I'm wrong. Now let's move on to the fun part. To find a topic for this type of animations, go to Google Trends, check rising trends across categories, explore what's trending now. You can view trends by country. When it started trending past hour, 24 hours for recent trends or past week, all trends or by search volume or recency, like productivity, personal growth, mental health, relationships and finance, search terms like mindfulness or productivity hacks and find trending sub niches. Niches like self-improvement, relationships are perfect for this types of animations. Analyze successful channels on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. Look for channels already creating minimalist animations. Reverse engineer what these creators do. Identify common themes and find gaps they don't address. For example, personal finance, saving money, minimalism in spending, self-improvement, habits, motivation, understanding others, like in your first image, relationships and communication, empathy, oversharing, healthy connections. Here are effective methods to get viral ideas, concepts from books, blog posts, podcasts, or YouTube. Take insights from popular self-help books like Atomic Habits, James Clear, Essentialism, Greg McKeown. Convert key concepts into bite-sized animations. Podcasts, shows like The Tim Ferriss Show or The Daily Stoic provide actionable ideas that can be visually represented. Find popular videos from successful YouTube channels. Quora and Reddit questions. Look for questions with high engagement. Examples. How do misunderstanding ruin communication or why do people overshare on social media use tools like trendsmap or tiktok trends to spot viral phrases or concepts people are discussing hashtags like hashtag mindset shift hashtag communication tips hashtag productivity hacks or hashtag life lessons are great now you're wondering how do i make money from these videos and let's be honest most of us do it for money here are the possible ways to make money create shorts or longer formats 10 plus minutes for better ad revenue cross promote on multiple platforms make animations into looping backgrounds for sale create custom animations for clients as a service or teach others by creating and selling a course or coaching Find sponsors in your niche. Send your followers to your affiliate links. If you want more tutorials on how to make this kind of animations, watch this video next.